All aboard! It's time for me to review another train game, Ride the Rails, put out by Capstone Games. Ride the Rails is the second in the Iron Rails series that Capstone Games is putting out. The first of them was Irish Gage, this one being Ride the Rails, and the next one being another uh, game called Something Gage. However, the first Irish Gage I had and was just like, it's cool, it's simple, it's fun, it's a very small box, it's a one-pager rule book, really cool, but a little bit too much stock work going on for a train game for me. Ride the Rails is a little bit different. And in this one, you're actually going to be placing out rail tracks and trying to transport passengers from one place to another. It's kind of just the pick up and deliver part of Age of Steam. However, I liked Age of Steam still better. Now, you'll notice that BGG has this placed as designed by John Bower. Now, on the box, it says Harry Wu. Harry Wu is a pseudonym for John Bower. There is a lot of drama along the lines between John Bower and Martin Wallace and the entire train game series as to who owns what. Essentially, it boils down to Martin Wallace came up with the idea, John Bower wrote a lot of the rules. But at the time when they were in their heyday, they came out with a bunch of different games across a bunch of different companies. And so they changed the name of the designers and they changed the name of the publishers and all that. Uh, but needless to say, it is a train game that has a little bit of stock manipulation in it. The cool part of this is that you have to take stock in order to build the trains onto the board. However, in doing so, that also the trains that are available is a common pool that represents both stock and the spots you can put on the board. So the interesting choice between whether or not you want to take trains away from the pool, which in then turns make it so that less people can build, or maybe you can build less, or if you want to build more, but then you also have less stock. So there's this cool, neat little balance between back and forth. I did like this one better than the Irish Gage game. However, I still like Age of Steam way better, so this one's not gonna stay in my collection, and I don't even think I'm gonna bother getting the third in the Iron Rails series because two out of three hitting the spot for me, I'm not even too sure that I'm going to bother with the third one, uh, because why? Um, however, it is pretty. I do love what Ian O'Toole, the graphic designer, has been doing with all these train games. I love the artwork. However, Age of Steam is still king in my books. This says best with four, I would agree with it. 45 to 60 minutes, definitely on par with that. This is also another one page rule book game and a uh, weight of 2.27 out of five. I would probably even give it, uh, yeah, around a two, 2.2. 2. Um, it's very simple, the rules are very simple. However, the choice that you have to make between whether or not you want to take stock and whether or not you want to build could be a little bit harder um, when it comes to weight. However, let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe to thy channel, and share this with all of your board gaming friends. Until next time, we will grab a ticket to ride the next train, but not ticket to ride. Bye.